My sponsor, Rock Bottom, is currently running a special deal. Head on over to rockbottomcoins.com and use code ZERK at checkout for a 30% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Xerxes coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have the NFL Combine Day 3. So of course we have defensive linemen and linebackers and then tomorrow will be the final day of the Combine promo or at least what should be the final day of players being released unless they have like something else in store. Uh, but tomorrow is going to be defensive backs so I have safeties, cornerbacks, Byron Jones hopefully. I have to say the linebackers for today. A lot of people were expecting like Jadavion Clowney, it doesn't appear as though he is getting a card, but there were a lot of really, really good players, including one I'm sure a lot of you guys will definitely enjoy, Luke Keekley. So I'm pretty excited that he's actually going to be in the Combine promo. I thought maybe he would get one, I also thought maybe Deion Jones, but it looks like Deion Jones is not in here, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but also, a little bit of NFL news, I guess, uh, Kyler Murray, he measured in 5'10.1". What you guys' thoughts on that? A little bit curious about that. Uh, he's the same height, basically, as Doug Flutie, and he just won in short from Russell Wilson. How do you think that'll affect him in the NFL? But, with that being said, let's take a look at the new players that we have out today, and you guys can see already, we have two of the new guys up. So we have Luke Keekley and Telvin Smith. So I'm definitely going to be trying to get this Luke and get some gameplay with him. You guys see his speed is a little bit low. He's only got 88 speed with 91 acceleration, which is always kind of... What to expect with Luke, he's never going to be the fastest middle linebacker in the game. Uh, but besides that, he does have 83 strength, which is pretty decent. 97 tackling, 97 play rec, 92 block shed, 95 hit power, and an 89 zone coverage. So of course, you power him up, he's going to have 89 speed. You put Sprinter on him, you put John Madden on him. He can get up to about 92 speed. Uh, and then of course, if you happen to have maybe Panthers cam, he can be looking pretty fast actually. And then, of course, with the tackling, be a 98, 98 play rec, 93 block shed. Uh, hit power would be up to a 96, and he'd be at that 90 zone coverage threshold. So, pretty dang good card. Uh, Agility-wise, a little bit low for a user. Catching is really good. 84 catching. I gotta say, though, Jalen Smith, 66 catch. I don't think he's dropped a user pick for me. I mean, like, in general, it seems like I've been dropping user picks just, like, randomly. Like, Shazer at 77, I'll still drop user picks for no reason. Uh, jumping is a 91 he is six foot three of course cake is very tall he does have a power move of a 77 and a man coverage of an 80. i see the card looks pretty good overall the card is pretty solid i'll probably try and drop a gameplay for you guys later today with him now we do have also telvin smith in the game take a look at telvin smith uh, i don't really have another coverage linebacker to compare him to i guess anthony Barr, but he's only a 90 so I guess we just pay him to LT here. But he has 90 speed with a 91 excel. Very, very, very good uh, coverage linebacker. Of course, keep in mind, all the players that I'm going to show you guys, like comparing these guys, uh, all my cards are powered up. So just add one to make Telvin Smith. You want to get a fair comparison or minus one from LT and everybody. Uh, but Telvin Smith has 95 block shed. He also has an 81 finesse move. So he actually have the same block shed as Lawrence Taylor. 97 play rate and a 95 tackling as well. His agility is a 90, so a little bit better there. Catching, 82. Uh, what's his zone? Only a 79 jump, not the best there. What's his zone coverage? 89 zone and 84 man. That's what I like to see. So definitely a really good card. Also 92 hit power. If you are a coverage 4-3, uh, Telvin Smith is probably someone you definitely need to pick up right now. The man is crazy. Crazy play rec, good zone coverage, 90 speed. And is that it for the 97s? There's got to be two more at least, right? Are we going to get four linebackers? Oh, we actually have two uh, defensive linemen as well. I forgot about that. So we have Brandon Williams. Okay. So am I missing something here? Because that doesn't look like a defensive tackle. Number 57, right? That's number 27 for Daniel Hunter. He's number 19. He's number 29. I am almost positive this is not Brandon Williams. This man looks like he weighs maybe 210. And Brandon Williams is that defense attack from the Ravens who is ginormous and jacked as heck. So I don't think this is Brandon Williams, but take a look at his card. He has 64 speed, 81 acceleration, 98 strength with a 95 tackling, 97 play rank, 98 block shade with a 94 power move. Yeah, that card's freaking insane. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I, I'm almost positive that is literally not Brandon Williams. 
Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm positive that's not. There's no way that is. And then we have Danielle Hunter, 97 overall. Take a look at him compared to Khalil Mack. Whoa. Okay. So let's just say you powered up Danielle Hunter, right? And I always say Danielle. I'm pretty sure it's Daniel Hunter. Daniel, I'm pretty sure. Uh, 89 speed, 91 acceleration. So if you power him up, you have the same speed, same excel, strength will be minus 10, but attack will be minus 1. Player could be plus 3, block shift will be plus 1, and power move will be a 90, or no, finesse would be a 99. Power move 92. That's a pretty freaking good card. Uh, let's see, like, the hit power. What is the hit power on this man? 88. Not too bad. So, pretty solid 97 overalls. I'm probably going to end up getting some Keekly gameplay for you guys later today. Now, we also have... Where is he? Is he a 92? I hope he's a 92. I don't see him up. I know we have a new Griffin, but I don't know what overall he is. Uh, let's go by 991 here, see if we can find him there. And we have Darren Lee. Okay, 90 overall Darren Lee's 89 speed, 92 hit power, and a 90 acceleration. If I start by all defense, maybe that'll help me get one of these guys up here. Uh, let's go to 88 to 89. Is he an 88? Let's see. Is Griffin up here? Carl Lawson is up here. He has 82 power move, 90 finesse move, 84 speed, 90 acceleration right there. Okay. So Griffin has a mutt hero. Oh, wow. They only made him 87. Dang. So he has 93 speed, 93 acceleration, though. So very, very fast. Uh, for going to, of course, catching. He only has a 28 catching. Uh, jumping is an 87, but he's got 93 speed, 93 excel. That is a beastly, beastly user. Is there not a 92 middle linebacker? Oh, there's actually Vic Beasley out here. Okay, so Vic Beasley got a new card. Uh, he's got 89 speed, 90 acceleration, 86 strength, 88 block shit, 89 power move, or 89 finesse with 82 power move. I don't really get, like, how Vic Beasley gets, like, good enough cards. Like, he had a blitz card, too, but, like, not even 90 power move or finesse move or block shit. Like, not even 90. But he has really good speed. But the fact that he doesn't have 90 finesse move or anything like that is... That's just wild to me. Uh, but I'll probably pick up Keekly for you guys later today for some gameplay. And as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and open up some of these packs and try to pull that Keekly. Uh, we do have Elite Player Packs in the store, but honestly, I think you should probably rip the Combine Pack. So I'm going to open up an Elite Player Pack just to show you guys. Uh, maybe I'll get something glitchy out of this. As we get a Legend 84 overall, Derek Brooks. We get an 82 Travis Benjamin. And we get 86 Josh Allen. That might be worth something right there. So let's go ahead and get into the Combine Packs and see if we can potentially pull ourselves this new Luke Keekly. Kind of want for the gameplay. And first card is going to be Dustin Hopkins. Okay, I didn't want him, so we're really going to lose 900 scouts on that. Next pack. Come on, give me Keekly. We get Brian O'Neill. Now, the problem with doing this pack, though, now is that there's literally so many cards out that the odds you actually pull in the one that you want, not that high as we get Deshaun Jackson in that one, which, by the way, I pulled a gameplay yesterday with all four of the new cards. I did Marriott and OBJ gameplay, and I also did Deshaun Jackson and Vernon Davis gameplay. As there we go, we got 97 overall, Luke Keekly. So I'm going to go ahead and add power-ups to this man, or some uh, chemistries, and I'll show you guys what his stats are looking like. So Luke with lockdown times two, because that's all I need to get lockdown completely maxed out. Uh, we're going to put Sprinter on him, of course. And ability-wise, we're going to go with... Honestly, in middle linebackers, I have to go with Secure Tackler or Unfakeable. So I'm going to go with Unfakeable. The way I can't get juked out here. And I'm going to go ahead and just promote him to a starting middle linebacker. And uh, let's just see what he's looking like. So hopefully, he's a 99. That's, that's the goal, is to try and get at least them to 99 overalls. I feel like he's only going to be a 98, though. Is he 98? 98 overall, Luke Eagle. Dang it. Okay, so with Sprinter and everything, and all, of course, you know, my chemistries that I have in my team, he has 91 speed, 92 excel, 83 strength, 98 tackling, 99 play rank, 93 block shed, with a 95 hit power in a 93 zone. Yeah, that's a pretty freaking good card. Now, comparing that to Jalen, of course, and by the way, when I'm comparing it to these cards, this isn't with chems activated on my lineup, because I have to, like, click on Bobby Wagner to show the chems activated with him, but Kakely with the chems looks... Pretty solid. I, I still wish he was a little bit faster there, but his catching is still an 88, tackling 98, jumping 92. Crazy, crazy card. Let me know down below who you guys think could get a combine card for tomorrow. Honestly, 
If I had to make any predictions, tomorrow is the final day. It's going to be defensive backs. I'm going to say Byron Jones. I think that one's obvious. I think we could potentially get a Tyron Matthew Honey Badger. I believe he had a combine card like a couple years ago. And if I remember correctly, I don't think he has a super high overall card in the game right now. So I think Tyron Matthew could definitely get one as well. Uh, Byron Jones... I don't think Patrick Peterson will get one because Patrick Peterson does, of course, have this limited time card. Uh, but with that being said, he has a limited time card, Ghost of Madden. Keekly also has a limited time Ghost of Madden card. So maybe they will throw on Patrick Peterson. going to be pretty interesting to see. But of course, I will be having this Luke Keekly gameplay coming out for you guys later today. And of course, drop that gameplay. I also did happen to win my... Uh, house rules so i do have that pack coming for you guys there so i'm going to be opening this one and probably doing like a bunch of the random team loader packs as well with this but i hope you guys did enjoy the video and if you did smack the like button subscribe account we got the new luke keekley on the squad unfortunately he is only a 98 overall but we're going to go ahead and get this gameplay and then we're going to quick sell him get ready for whatever cards come out tomorrow and i'll probably drop another gameplay for you guys tomorrow and of course also tomorrow marks the day we can actually go ahead and get 99 cj2k so i'll probably drop a gameplay with him tomorrow as well hope you guys did enjoy though i'll see you guys next time